Hello, everybody. This is Michael.、Um, in this video, we we are talking about the three things. Okay, first is LVDS, second is sub LVDS, and one application example. Okay, and、uh, first, let's take a look at the LVDS. Ah.、Uh, For the LVDS, we will、uh, discuss three things. The first thing is what is、uh, LVDS. The second is how does LVDS work, and the third thing is advantage of LVDS. Okay. Okay. The first thing, what is the LVDS?、Uh, basically, the LVDS is a communication protocol. It is a low voltage differential signaling, and it is a high speed digital interface. So we can get four information from it. The first thing is low voltage. The second thing it is a differential signal. The third thing is a high speed. The last thing is digital interface. It's digital interface. It's not analog. Okay. So、um, let's take a look at the, how the LVDS are working. So this is a, a model for the、uh, LVDS、uh, protocol. So、uh, you will see here. This is driver. This is driver. This is receiver. Receiver. Okay. The driver will provide. A carrying source. It is a constant carrying source, 3.5 milli. Okay. So、um, this is a transistor. So when we open this and this at the same time, the carrying will go through here, and then go through this trace, and go through here. So this is a resistor. We put it 100 ohm. Then we'll go back, go back, go back, and go here, and then go through here to ground. So it's a loop. From here to here is a loop. So if we open this and this, close this, this, it will go through here. Ah,、uh, it will go through here because this is connected. Okay. So the current goes through here. This will be shut down, and this as this will be shut down. The current goes through here, and goes through here, and goes through here, goes through here. Then from here, then go to ground. Okay, so we 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 will get two direction voltage if we go through here. So we open this, open this. And the current will be goes through this direction. So we will get a voltage like three hundred fifty milli volt. Okay, this is、uh, plus. If we go this direction, we go this direction. We call this is like a minus、um, direction. It will be minus. Of three hundred fifty milli volts. By this way, we can get a.、Uh, if we define the first one is one, and the second one is zero, so we can get a a, a group of one zero one zero one zero by switching, by open or shut down the transistor here. By this way, we can communicate between each others and receive data. Receive date, okay. So, ah,、uh, let's take a look at the advantage of the protocol. First, it is a low power, low power consumption, and so for many devices, it can save the power. And the second is high noise imitation. So let's take a look at this. It is a differential pair. 
so if you affect if they know it's affect one of the trace it will affect both of them and the voltage but the difference will keep the same so this will be um, cancel the noise eff um, effect at the same time because uh, it is two direction go and back so the uh, field will cover it okay the result will um, need to reduce the EMI so the protocol um, L VDS will not affect other traits so there is two way one way is it will not affect by other noise by other signal the second way it will not affect others okay so it's high noise emitted the third thing is high speed so um at the initial standard, in the initial um, protocol, the speed is um, up to around 600 megabit. But now, 1 to 3 gigabit per second is common. So it's a very high speed um, digital communication protocol. Okay, let's take a look at the sub LVDS. Okay. The sub LVDS is a subset of the LVDS. So this picture is from the um, latest ICE 40 datasheet. So you can see here the difference between LVDS and the sub LVDS. The, ma the main difference is the voltage. So uh, for VCC IO, this is um, cheap voltage. For the uh, LVDS is 2.5. The normal one is 2.5. The sub one is 1.8. Okay. The difference of the voltage is 350. This is a standard one and the minimal. But for the sub one is 150. Okay so the main difference is from here and here so it means the um, supplement can achieve um, more lower power consumption and at the same time and it can achieve higher um, data speed and you also can read get more information from silence this document it has um, detailed information about the sub LVDS how how the Sinex FPGA can show it and use it in the Sinex FPGA okay so the last thing let's take a look at the, let's take a look at the application jumbo so um, so this chip is from TI um, company is um, is a chip which can convert 8B parallel data to sub LVDS. Okay, let's take a look at the um, data sheet. Okay, so this is the data sheet. Okay, so from TI, this is this chip. This is, it is for camera parallel RGB to this interface okay so you will read here it convert 8b data to two sub low voltage differential signal running okay so let's take a look at this picture you will see here so this is a camera camera on the mobile phone um, this is camera interface this is a chip LVD S three or fifteen, okay. Then it will go through the FPC and uh, get a two two set of the sub LVDS. Then go to the microprocessor application processor, 
and uh, so if we don't convert it then we'll have to uh, trace all the A bit date on to the FPC the one thing is the FPC will be affected by the um, other signal on the mobile phone the other things there is lots of cable here and if you convert to the uh, LVDS is only uh, two set of it okay let's take a look at the more detail application uh, sigmatic so this is a sigmatic you will see here so uh, this is data bus this is 8-bit data bus and this is a clock, peak clock and this is um, HS and VS a synchronized signal okay and uh, this is I2C communication protocol uh, I2C communication to write the command into the image sensors when we finish the image sensor initialize the data the image data will output through the data pass and it goes through here and will go through the differential this is two set of the differential date uh, LV, we call this is like sub LVDS and this is for date you can see this is positive negative this is for clock positive negative and this is 88 megahertz 88 megabits and this is um, voltage and ground so we will by, by using this chip convert we can use the uh, advantage of the uh, LVDS and uh, we can trace this signal longer than this one and we will also have the uh, noise immutation immunity uh, benefit and this signal will not affect other signal like the audio signal and the RF signal also this signal will not affect by other signal like the RF and the audio will not can will not affect this so we 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 can get a very stable and clean image from the image sensor um, so um, this is uh, one of the application about the sub LVDS okay okay so uh, uh, that's it we we talk about the three things in this video and I hope you like it and uh, I'm Michael and I wish you uh, will support us subscribers